Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1132. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about is Ripple stock or XRP a better investment? And that's because This question was asked on a link to webinar that I was watching yesterday. And Jennifer R. Curry, shout out to you and the people over at link to for doing a great job on that webinar. But a question was asked that I've been asked before and nobody's really taken the time to answer it properly. So I thought I would take the time on this podcast to do just that because people want to know, is your money going to be better off in Ripple stock or is it going to be better off by investing in XRP? I have a definite answer to that, which I will share with you, and I'll show you how I came to that conclusion. But first, you know that Ripple Labs is the company behind XRP. It's not a publicly traded company yet, so it's not on the U.S. stock exchanges. It is only available in certain places where you can buy it, but you must be an accredited investor in order to invest. That means you have to get verified as an accredited investor. And to become an accredited investor, you need either $1 million of net worth outside of your primary residence, so not including your home, or $200,000 of income as an individual or $300,000 combined income with your spouse for the last two years, or a Series 7, 65, or 82, Or if your accountant, attorney, or banker will write a letter verifying your net worth is greater than a million dollars excluding your primary residence, well, any of those ways will get you qualification to buy Ripple stock on a website called Link2. That's L-I-N-Q-T-O dot com. And I will share with you the link to link to in the show notes. So recently it was in the news that Ripple bought back some stock that they had sold during a Series C round of funding. And this private stock, they bought back at a valuation of $15 billion. That tells you that Ripple believes that their company is worth $15 billion today. The interesting thing is, though, that when you buy your Ripple stock on Link2, the valuation they're still honoring is at $7.5 billion. So half of the value that Ripple believes their company is worth today. So what a bargain that is. I love that. Now, what will Ripple stock be worth when it goes public? As you know, when companies go public, it's called an initial public offering or an IPO. Coinbase was one of the first cryptocurrency companies to go public. Now, Coinbase is an exchange. That's where cryptocurrencies are bought and sold. But it's not a cryptocurrency itself, nor does it own its own cryptocurrency. So it's far different from Ripple and XRP. But we're using it because it's one of the few examples of companies in the cryptocurrency space that have actually gone public. Now, Ripple, of course, is not an exchange, but we don't have a lot of examples of cryptocurrency businesses going public. So we're going to use Coinbase as one of our guides. And when we look at what happened to Coinbase, it went public on April 14th of 2021 with near a $100 billion valuation. Now, if that happened to Ripple and it was valued at $100 billion rather than the $7.5 billion that Link2 sells their shares at, that would be a 13-time increase in your money. But here's what you also need to know. While Ripple is not a cryptocurrency exchange, it has the potential, in my opinion, to be worth more than a cryptocurrency exchange. 
because it's not locked into traditional stock valuations like many companies are, because traditionally companies are valued by their cash flow or their earnings. But Ripple is going to be different because it will handle trillions of dollars of value per day across the XRP ledger when it's going in full force. And we know that currencies today trade about $5 trillion a day. Once all currencies in the world have a digital version and every central bank has a central bank digital currency, that tells me that literally trillions and probably quadrillions of dollars worth of worth when you add in derivatives could travel across the XRP ledger and use XRP as the bridge between two currencies of any value or two tokens of any value, whether that's real estate or bonds or derivatives or whatever gets tokenized. Any asset in the future can be tokenized and trade on the XRP ledger, in my opinion. So that to me says that there's no reason why Ripple needs to be limited to traditional stock valuations. Today, a company like Apple that's worth over a trillion dollars, we consider a massive valuation. But again, we're valuing Apple based on sales and earnings, profitability, future cash flow, things like that that are very traditional metrics. Ripple, on the other hand, might be the first company to be valued on something completely different, which happens to be the value that is traveling across the XRP ledger. Now, Ripple itself has a business and it has contracted with many banks, over 400 different banking relationships it has. So it is already earning profits and fees and operating like a traditional business. But on top of that, Ripple also owns the escrow of XRP. So there's additional escrow or XRP cryptocurrency that Ripple still holds. It's like having gold or silver or currency in your treasury, and there's massive worth there. So besides being a massively profitable business and possibly handling more value running across the XRP ledger than any business in history, it also is going to have massive value due to the XRP escrow and what the worth of XRP grows to. So could Ripple become the most valuable company out there? Well, I think we could build a case for that. Let's hold on to that thought for a moment. And now let's look at XRP and what XRP is worth. As I record this, XRP is trading at 77 cents. And we know the value of XRP has been squelched and held down because of the SEC lawsuit against Ripple that's been ongoing for over a year, in which the SEC said that Ripple may have been acting as if XRP was a security and not a currency, in spite of them working side by side for seven years together. However, we know the U.S. Treasury and all foreign countries that Ripple works with have already determined that XRP is a currency and not a security. It seems to be the SEC is the only one who can't figure that out. We also know that XRP is primed to be used in a new financial system where cryptocurrencies follow a financial messaging regulation called ISO 20022, in which cryptocurrencies have a uniform way to communicate with each other. And we know that those ISO 20022 cryptos are already being tested and have go live dates in the future. This is already planned and already approved by banks who have to plan these kinds of things years in advance and have already been testing and using XRP behind the scenes for a very long time. Nothing in the banking system can be done quickly or without proper planning and coordination with all the banks around the world. And we know that on March 12th of 2018, CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, spoke publicly about Ripple using XRP to replace the SWIFT system which is our current bank messaging system that is very slow. It's a 50-year-old technology. It's very antiquated and very pricey in terms of high fees to send money versus 
using XRP to send currency around the world is very fast, is very low fee and low energy. It's a green energy and handles over 1,500 transactions per second. So what is XRP worth? Well, as Universe 20 on Twitter pointed out, just getting 10% of the traffic that crosses the SWIFT system right now in our traditional banking system, just getting 10% of that transferred over to the XRP ledger is arguably going to create a $1,200 valuation for XRP. So today, one XRP, 77 cents. In the future, we can make a very good case for just getting 10% of that SWIFT traffic, increasing XRP's value to $1,200 per XRP. That's a 1,558 time increase. And that's not even the maximum price that I can see or argue for XRP. It's only my first target, roughly around $1,000 to $1,200, which I think is very doable within a one to two year period. So that's why I say, if you're not an accredited investor yet, don't worry, because the better investment is actually in XRP. As I've shown you, the Ripple stock, I can argue, can get a 13 time increase, and I can argue that XRP can get a 1,558 time increase, so it's not even close. Both, I think, will do better than these estimates, but this is just a simple way of demonstrating how to answer this question, which is the better investment. Also, for those of you who want to invest in Ripple stock in a retirement plan, you can contact link to and ask about details how. It is possible to do that. And I'll share the link to link with you to set up your account in the show notes. And if you set up your account through my link, you get a $250 credit toward your investment that you make in any investment within Link2. And it's an affiliate link, so I benefit as well. So there you have it. I think the better investment is XRP. And that's good news because anybody can afford a 77 cent investment. You don't have to be an accredited investor. You don't have to have a lot of money to participate. So in the end, we can thank the SEC for that lawsuit and for keeping XRP's price low for us to be able to accumulate over all this time. We started buying at 25 cents, so it's already up 300% from where we started accumulating. Plus, with all the massive airdrops that we've received, it's already been a very good investment, even though the SEC brought the lawsuit, and even though it has kept XRP from reaching new highs again. But I think that time is close. And while nobody knows when the SEC lawsuit is over, the lawyers are saying maybe around April. So I think we're getting close and I think it's quite likely this year that that will happen. And right after the lawsuit is settled, Ripple has said they will take their company public. So it's a one-two punch that XRP will benefit from and private investors in Ripple stock will also benefit from. And even though Warren Buffett has said he is not a fan of cryptocurrency, it's very interesting how he is an investor in SBI Holdings, which owns 12% of Ripple stock. He's also heavily invested in Bank of America, which is also a big Ripple partner. Whichever path you choose, whether it's Ripple stock or XRP, or if you choose both like I have, to me, this is an obvious choice of one of the best investment opportunities in our lifetime, in my opinion. And I definitely can see how Ripple could become the most valuable company out there of all publicly traded companies. But I can also see why XRP can become the most valuable cryptocurrency of all cryptocurrencies. What amazing times we're living in and what incredible investment opportunities we have today. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available so you never miss one of them. And don't forget, my entire library of podcasts is over on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts, where you have a search box and you can enter any terms that you want to search for and know more about. There's over a thousand podcasts in my wealth mentoring library now, so many more than are available on Apple Podcasts. And if you want to know more about cryptocurrencies, check out my new book, Three Steps to Quantum Wealth, The Wealth Heiress's Guide to Financial Freedom by Investing in Cryptocurrencies. 
That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.